Hi everyone, we're back with the second episode of the Cornard Chronicle. We've got a very exciting episode for you all with a new challenge and a surprise guest. Here's a hint. She's a teacher of science, she loves cats, she's in Kildare, the best house, and last year featured as Corny Collins in House Choir. She's super enthusiastic and her favourite word is superstar. Can you guess who she is? First up, we have a couple of notices that we'd love to share with you all. Every week, the library will be adding a new a current affairs quiz to the library webpage. Have a go at it on the library homepage, which you can access via the bulletin and see if you can get 20 out of 20. Remember too, that also through the library homepage, you can access and read the age online while at home. And that's not all. You all would have gotten an email about this, but the Cornard Library is creating a book about the school's experience throughout the COVID-19 pandemic. And they need your input because your voices matter. You can talk about what you did over the Easter holidays from home, how you're finding remote learning, or even just how you're feeling right now. This is an exciting opportunity to record our experiences and create a primary resource to be used by historians and students in the future. A copy of the book will also be given to the State Library of Victoria, making it part of their vast historical collection. Just think, in 50, 100, or even 200 years, people will look back and read about your life, your thoughts, and your feelings that you're experiencing right now. How cool is that? You can send your responses for COVID at Clonard to Miss Ryan at library at clonard.vic.edu.au. For all of those out there who love theatre, acting, directing, stage and costume design and more, we have good news for you. Each week, the National Theatre Company is bringing you the National Theatre at Home, where they'll be releasing a new play each Friday on YouTube until it gets taken down the following Thursday for another play. This week's play is Frankenstein with Benedict Cumberbatch and Johnny Lee Miller, so make sure to watch it while you still can before next week's play goes up. The link's on Simon, or you can look up National Theatre on YouTube. Now our Year 12 house leaders have a very exciting announcement for you all. Hey girls, now that we're at home you might have some more free time on your hands. We're very excited to announce the newest way you can earn house points from the comfort of your own home, introducing the Clonard Quarantine Cup. Each week in the Clonard Chronicle, there'll be a weekly challenge, a weekly workout and a weekly recipe for you to complete. And guess what? If you make the recipe, do the workout and complete the challenge, you can earn your house some house points towards the Quarantine Cup. And if you do all three, then you can earn your house three house points. But wait, there's more. Another fun way you can earn house points is if you submit an entry to the library for our COVID at Clonard book we mentioned earlier. And not only that, but if you submit an entry, you can earn your house two points. Double points. Not only can you help your house win the Quarantine Cup, but the Quarantine Cup itself goes towards helping your house win the overall House Cup at the end of the year. Each week on the Clonard Chronicle, we'll have a tally of who's on track to steal the cup. All you need to do to snatch up these easy fun house points is take a photo of you doing the weekly recipe, workout or challenge and send them through to your house leaders. Or you can post them to your social media with the hashtag Clonard Chronicles. A list of all your house leaders can be found on Simon in school links under public documents. And if you say it's okay, in the following episode of the Clonard Chronicle, will be able to show off and present all your awesome house spirit points with your pics. This week's challenge is to send in a photo of you and your pet, or if you don't have a pet, a family member, or even a pet rock, studying hard at home and remote learning together, just like this one of Jordan and her pet cat, Baxter. Remember to email your awesome pictures to your house leaders to get yourself a house point. Uh, now, Alicia and Katie, our health and wellbeing leaders, are going to let us know about this week's weekly recipe and workout that you can try from home. Hi girls, I'm Alicia and I'm one of your Year 12 Health and Wellbeing Leaders for this year. Each week, Katie and myself are going to bring you a home workout and a recipe for you all to try. This week's workout is called the Tabata Timer Workout 1. This is the workout for you all behind me here. It goes for roughly about 10 to 20 minutes and it's so much fun. Hope you enjoy it. Hi guys, I'm Katie, your other Health and Wellbeing Leader. And this week's recipe we have for you is an acai bowl. So it's super quick and easy, it tastes good, and it's really good for breakfast or like whenever. Um, and if you have any photos of your recipes or workouts, please send them to Teams or by email to your house leaders, because Alicia and I would love to see them. Welcome everyone to our very exclusive interview that you've all been waiting for. If you guess correctly, you'll know that our very special guest is, drum roll please, Miss Ness! 
Hello! <laughs> Smooth entry. Hey guys. Hi, Miss S. We have How a couple of questions to ask you. Oh, I'm excited. I'm ready. I was born for this. Let's, Let's go. Do it. Ready? Question one. Describe for us how you're going in isolation in three words. Um, okay, three words. Uh, coffee. Um, heat packs. And um, talking to pot plants. Yeah. Brilliant. That definitely wasn't three words. <laughs> <laughs> if you were stranded on a desert island, what three things would you bring with you and why? Uh, deserted on a stranded island, I would bring, okay, number one, you need to have some reading material. You need to have something to do. So I would be bringing my book, currently yeah. rereading Harry Potter series. Right Harry's um, Okay, number two, what do I do? Um, some craft. I mean, you've got to do something, keep you occupied if you're not reading. Um, I would bring my embroidery, my needle and thread, and I'll make something to show my time in ISO, or I mean on my stranded island. And my third thing, I would bring a pawpaw because you can't have chapped lips. That's very, very true. I love I've that. Got mine with me too. Yes. <laughs> and thirdly, what is your favourite type of chocolate? I'm so glad you asked because now there's a reason why I have my chocolate next to me here. It is yeah. Cadbury, it has to be Cadbury Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. milk mm -hmm. chocolate and um now i have a reason to eat all of these that are next to my computer 100 <laughs> percent. this one's a bit harder this is a riddle okay let's do this i'm ready <laughs> what four-legged animal can jump higher than a house think about this it's, it's very hard a four-legged animal that can jump higher than a house yeah Okay, using my scientific understanding of animal anatomy, and you'd have to look at like the muscle fibers. So there's a particular type of water flea that based on the muscle contraction and the fibers can, based on their size, jump over a house. So my final answer is a water flea. Um, the actual correct answer was any animal houses can't jump. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> so water flea was not correct. Okay. Close. You're very that close. One. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And very lastly, we have a challenge for you. It's called the, right. with the challenge. I'm going to mute my microphone and I'm going to say a phrase and you have to try and guess what I'm saying. All right. Okay. I can't see your lips though. You have to move your camera down. There we go. There we ready? Go. Okay. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. I need to get nice and close. Go. Ready? Wait, wait, one more time. I'm going to guess as you're doing it. All right. Hello to all of the people. I like pie and chocolate <laughs> cake. Did I nail it? Somewhat. Close <laughs> enough. Ready? I'll tell you the answer. Chess with Miss S is the very, very best. Oh, oh guys. Oh, I like <laughs> your answer. <laughs> Oh, this has been such a lovely interview. It has been so nice to see you guys. And school captains, you're doing a wonderful job on behalf of all the Clonard community. We're loving these videos. It actually makes um, it makes us smile. It makes definitely makes me smile. It puts a um, highlight in my day. So thank you so much for everything you're doing. And um, yeah, this is the closest I think I'll ever be to a celebrity. So thank you. <laughs> so much. Thank you for being our first guest. Thank you. No worries. See you later, guys. Yeah. Like and subscribe. <laughs> all the websites or resources we mentioned throughout this episode will be available on Simon on the Bulletin for all of this week. So be sure to check them all out. Thank you so much again for tuning in to the second episode of the Clonard Chronicle. We can't wait to see all your entries for the challenges. And remember, we're in this together. We're in this together.